In today's video, we want to see how to download and install LibreOffice 7.4 on Linux. So let's go to LibreOffice website. Uh, let's go down there to 7.4. It's a pre-release, will be released uh, very soon. And I don't want a RPM version, I want a Debian. So let's choose the Deb version. Let's download. And we are waiting some seconds until it's downloaded. Okay. Now we uh, right click extract here. We have this folder. We enter into the depths folder and here we uh, open the terminal or right click terminal or I have here. Let's write a command in order to install everything. So let's write Let's increase the font. So sudo dpkg minus i all deb file. So uh, I am acting as sudo. I want the uh, install manager to install all the all the deb file. So let's run. Uh, you can see here. I already have 74022, but uh, I am showing you how to install it. So I will install again and I will reset everything after installing in order to see what we can set up as uh, of an initial uh, installation. So let's open LibreOffice. Let's check is 7402. Now let's go to help, restart in safe mode and restart. And from here, let's choose reset to factory setting and let's check all these two options. Apply changes and restart. I don't want tips. So this is a default. This is how it look, but we want to change. So let's go to tools, options, and let's begin changing our preferences. Let's write here the name. It's very important for, um, for us to open when we working on something to open where we left. I don't want warning. I don't want to send crash reports to Document Foundation. Let's go to view. This uh, inter uh, interface theme is automatic, it's breeze. We can change from here. I don't want to change now. I want to change the icon size. So let's uh, move everything to small. Let's apply. It's much better. I see more. Now let's go to print. Uh, here we can change, for example, um, to convert colors to grayscale. So, uh, for example, if we have a white, black and white printer, we don't want to see color and print black and white, so we can change that. We can get warnings, for example, if we uh, have a wrong format paper size and we want to print on another kind of paper, we can get a warning. Path, we can change them in order to, for example, for backup, I change very often from here. We I can click on edit and choose another uh, path uh, in order to save all my backups. For fonts, we can change. Security is very important for macro. Uh, if we have a file within a certain uh, folder, and we want to run it, we can add that path here. So it will run. I will let this by default. Application color, we can change uh, how everything is looking. For example, now I can change uh, document background. It's white, you can see. I can change, for example, with uh, light gray. 
and it became darker. Um, I can change application background for this area here, but I will let it like uh, on automatic. I like to change the shadow to have something much obvious. So it's a green, it's not very easy to see. Let's choose a lime and let's change the shadow. I can change also um, text boundaries to be uh, something like lime. Let's see how it is. So if I increase, I have this margin with lime and this uh, margin area with lime. Let's change uh, with default, automatic. But this is what you can do. If you, you can customize on your own preferences. We have some options here. Also, I disable Java until I need it. Okay, I don't want to have Java running when I'm not using. I uncheck uh, this option to check for updates automatically. I want to install but by myself when it's a new version. In the load, I check here, save auto recovery for six minutes. I don't want to lose any work. And I check always create backup copy. So when I save a document, it will create a backup. It's very easy to restore when we have everything here. And I don't want warning when not saving in ODF or default format. On the language, we can change uh, the user interface language. In writer general, we can uh, check for, um, for example, charts to be updated when the numbers are changing. So it's updating uh, the measurement. If you prefer millimeters or something else, you can change from here. And also the, the tabs here. If this tab is too much for you, you can uh, change the default from here, from this tab. Let's uh, see how it's with 07. Let's restart LibreOffice. And now you can see we have less than one centimeter here. Let's go. Let's write something. So one, press tab, one, I press tab and so on. Uh, you can see how narrow the tabs are. If I'm changing now, you will see these numbers are moving uh, on the new tabs. So let's uh, change to one. Let's go to view. Uh, help, help lines while moving are very helpful. For example, if you have a project with many images and you want to arrange them, to align them, it's very important. Let's insert a shape. I want this shape, for example, to be aligned with the bottom of the numbers. So I align, I have a visual help in order to align with the bottom of that um, that line, okay? And every time I move, I can be sure everything is fine. I disable that now. Uh, what to display in a document? I want to see resolved comments. So I could check that. I don't want to see something that is hidden. I want to see track deletion in margin. We have some formatting aids, grid. For example, if I check visible grid, uh, we can see here, I don't know if you see on your screen, but I have some dots here over this uh, shadow. So you can specify how many dots and grid to see. Here we can set the fonts, for example, uh, if you don't like Liberation Serif 
or the size if I want by default all the documents to have 10 centimeters because you use that very often you change here and all the new documents will have 10 in this case you can see I use the default paragraph so everything became 10 but let's change to 12 because it's too small or 10 points let's go to print what we want to print um, for example print text in black means that if we have gray text the gray will become black so no shadows of gray everything is black or white what we want to see about comments in margin or none or something something else changes and so on let's go to internet what i change very often it's proxy i set to none and it's working much faster uh, let's see what we have more okay let's apply and this is what i have in this document this is how i made my libreoffice installation how i set everything here we have the sidebar let's uh, for example let's set a heading heading one for this text very easy um, i set up the title style for that another very useful thing in since 7.2 or 7.3 it's a search search command shift and escape pressing together and i can search for comments that i don't know where they for example paste special i copy this text i go to search and i write paste and i have for example paste special and i have uh, many options here let's do again search comments paste special or unformatted text and i have the text here let's try to insert a new section i don't know where section are so let's search section i want to insert a section i'm inserting one you can see here with gray i write some text i want to uh, change this in two columns i have a section with two columns let's write something and the text is moving on the next column so very easy with this search option. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video. Thank you.